So for the Morticia makeup that I did on my client in that video, I used the Glam Light Ghost Face Palette. But for this time, I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star Weirdo Palette that I haven't played with yet, that I got from my mystery box from Halloween. So I'm gonna do that. But to get started on the eye look, I like to start with an eye base. I'm using my trusty P. Louise. And I'm just gonna put that all over both the lids. Now you can use a concealer. I have oily lids, so that does not work for me. So use whatever you like as your base, but I definitely recommend a base. That's just gonna make your eyeshadow last much longer. All right, so now just do that on both eyes. Okay, now that our eye base is on both eyes, I'm going to use a pencil liner. Um, I'm using the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in black. I like this because it just you push up and it automatically sharpens itself. Um, so I'm gonna use this eyeliner uh, to draw a guide for where I want that um, kind of like that cut crease placement of the black eyeshadow shape to go. So I'm gonna start with the bottom of my eye and kind of work right down here on my waterline underneath my lashes and then work my way up and just kind of create that shape that I want. I'm just doing it very lightly in case like I mess up so I definitely recommend doing that. That's why I'm doing it with a pencil. So okay that's about as far out as I want it to go and then I'm drawing in more of kind of my wing. This does not have to be perfect because this is essentially where you're gonna layer the eyeshadow right on top. All right, I'm gonna get right into my lash line too. This is a Morticia look, so we're gonna do like black and gray and silver, but you can do brown, you can do a green, you can do a purple, you know, and like I said. Now I'm kinda gonna start drawing my cut crease. All right, so I've got my wing. Here. So this is where I'm gonna drag it out. All right, so I'm gonna go up, kind of follow where my, cause I've got hooded eyes. So I wanna go a little above where my crease is, however high you wanna go. So we've got our shape. I kind of created like a circular shape here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna draw that little, I'm gonna fill this in right here. There's kind of like a oval shape right there. All right. Now I'm gonna do that to the other side and I'll be right back. I know it looks crazy at this stuff, but trust the process. So this is where we're gonna layer on eyeshadow. And like I said, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Weirdo Palette. And I'm gonna use the black, which is the weirdo in here, with an angle brush. So I'm gonna use a combination of a pencil brush and my angle brush here. So you're just gonna layer on, just pack on black eyeshadow, exactly where you put that black pencil eyeliner. And you're just gonna press it on top of that liner. We're just stamping this black eyeshadow with the angle brush. I'm gonna perfect that little wing. Crisp line, because this is essentially where we're gonna have our cut crease. Yeah. All right, pencil brush. I'm gonna just tap a little bit in there in the black. I'm still doing in a little bit of a tapping motion because I don't want to ruin any of that stamping that I did. I don't want to move that around too much because I don't want to have fallout. So I'm kind of, but I'm pressing a little bit harder. I'm pressing and kind of blending at the same time. We're blending. Now I will blend at the top here, but I am going to blend this out with a gray. So just very lightly, just light little motions. And then, like 
said, trust the process. I'm gonna go on the bottom there. Now I'm gonna take another pencil brush and I'm gonna take this gray, it's called Punk Couture. All right, I'm gonna take that gray and I'm gonna go right above this black. Very lightly. Blend right above that black and sweep up. Gorgeous. All right, I'm loving this. I'm, it's coming along, which is good because that would really be sucky if I was like demonstrating this and it definitely was not working. <laughs> and now the fun part. Now we cut our crease and clean up our lid because once we do that, the eyeshadow will go on much smoother. All right, so let's clean this up. All right, now we just add some more P. Louise over where we just cut it. All right. Ooh. Slow and steady wins the rice. that shape I made. Alright. Alright, now do the other side. Alright, so now that's done. So now we're going to start with the white. And I'm going to put the white right here near the front. I'm just pressing that on there. Tap, tap, tap. And tap that into the bottom. And then I'm just going to use my finger I'm gonna take this silver. That white was glamour shot, and now I'm using razor blade. Look how nice and pigmented that is. And then I'm gonna press that right here. Yeah, and then towards the front, start stamping it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to the other side. Okay, and now this is where you just go in and buff out all your edges, but this is what we've got going so far. So you can add liner from here to make it darker, but this is where I'm gonna throw on some lashes and some base. I did just get these from a TikTok shop. I'm gonna link them below, so I'm gonna try these top ones here. So I'm throwing some lashes on and I'm gonna throw on some foundation and I'm gonna come back and do my lips. All right, now my base is on, blush, highlight, all that good stuff. So for the lips on this look, I did my Night Moth Lip Pencil with Fenty's Underage Lip Stain and the MVP Velvet Liquid Lip. There it is. 